Hello, my name is Eke Loktin Yong, and uh, this is my website. Um, today we continue to talk about period night, uh, flying star feng shui point of view. So in the last video, I talk about you know the the stars in each each period. They're still from one to nine. Um, it de really depends on when you and how you tap into the you know the timely star um, today we we will continue and uh, give you a little bit more information on the from the last video so we talk about this in each of the period there's a one to nine star so now we are in period nine okay so in the period nine not only not only the nine is timely, the one and the two also we call the future prosperity. So the one and two star and also can be used. And actually number eight, okay, number eight is just past. So most of the people out there say number eight, uh, you know, no longer good. It actually no in my opinion someone just retire you know they still can get their you know retire retire payment or uh, or get the pension so they they still are in my opinion is still usable but it's not as powerful as the the nine well that's from the you know uh, fine start point of view so um, also from the last uh, video we talk about uh, the you know each sector like in the law shoe right here each sector here they are actually 45 degrees 45 degrees so it's a very very big sector so actually this uh, you cannot use all these 45 degrees so that's more, you know, if you want to be very uh, detailed about feng shui, then you, you, you have to, well, uh, honestly speaking, because <laughs> I cannot publicly review the uh, SYYG, you know, the San Yuan Yuan Gua Feng Shui system. If you come to study and I will explain to you more why this 45 angle cannot be used. So the other thing is about the you know the fine star chart you know how to create a fine star chart I, I in the last video I say I will talk about a, a bit more but when I check on my the feng shui 101 you know the other playlist feng shui 101 if you check on the uh, number video number 33 to about uh, video 40 in those videos, I'll talk about the flying start, the flying start, uh, how to construct the flying start chart, and uh, you can find more information there. So here, I'm not going to waste you uh, more time. So how do you use the one and two? There, actually, there's a few different schools of flying star. They, they have different thinking. Um, the one school is say uh, let's let's do a do a do a chart here first okay so let's uh we do a period eight chart eight nine one two three four five six and seven so if let's say we we want to uh facing again woo so we bring the three in there three because the woo is the uh we call it is the heaven dragon so for the heaven dragon in in this case is uh, backward so it's two one nine eight seven six five and four so as, as explained earlier like we can use to can use the one and the two and the nine uh, there's some principle about using the nine here. So because in in the when the period is built, like in period eight, 
So this nine, so period eight, the the middle still all, always period period eight there. I remember, you know, someone asked me about uh, do they change period? The, to change the period, that's uh, you know, open the roof. You know, the, 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 according to fine start chart, open the roof, and then you change the period to nine. That's most of the uh, consultant will do that. Some consultant will say use the moving date. Use the moving date. Some people say if the house you live there, you move out for you know 100 days, or some say for 49 days, then the period will change. So honestly speaking, because I'm not using a lot of fine start uh, feng shui, uh, I mainly use the san yuan yuan gua, S-Y-Y-G feng shui. So, uh, mm, how, how, do I, how do I tell you? I, what I'm telling you is based on the fine start, okay? So if, if also the fine start feng shui, the, some masters say every 20 years, it, they change period, correct? Every, change, every 20 years, they change period. And some of them say oh, every, every 20 years, you have to change house. But if you think about it, uh, there's a, a very wealthy person in, in America. His name is uh, Warren Buffett. And he lived in his house for over like, I think 40, 50 years there, that's in the same house. So if, if, if in that case, then he can, you know, during changing the period, he will be from a very, uh, will change a lot in his feng shui. But uh, I don't know, I, I, because I haven't, his, haven't got his house for plan. I haven't uh, had a chance to look at it. But if you if you have the full plan, maybe you can send to me, and then we we can do some research. You know, look at it from the fine star point of view. Look at it from the S Y Y G San Yuan Yuan Gua point of view, uh, or even the San He Feng Shui point of view, the Da Gua Feng Shui point of view, or you know, we combine all together and look at it. Uh, so the the other theory is like nine nine is fire, so nine. Nine in, in the five star number one is water, number two is earth, number three is wood, four is wood, five is earth, six is metal, seven is uh, metal, eight is earth, and nine is fire. So if in this case, in the period eight, the nine, the nine here, the nine here will fire, will produce earth, you know, produce and make the center. Uh, better, uh, more increase the eight. But if you use one, this one is water. So earth control water, it is also uh, a good one. In eight, eight to two, because both earth, so they are in the same element. So they are also a good uh, element as well. So that's from the you know, fine star point of view. Uh, of course, if you just focus on fine star, you can use all the information I provide you. You can use that. Uh, but in in general, if you just use one feng shui system, it's not quite enough. The other thing is, if you use more feng shui system and you don't know how to you know uh, you know incorporate or blend in each system, it is very confusing as well. So uh, for example, in this case, if you put in the eight mention in there, so eight mention, this is the Kan Gua, right? And Kan is the, uh, the Fu Wei or the sitting. And that's the five ghosts, you know, the five ghosts, the five ghosts sector. So you may be afraid of, you know, when you open a door here in the five ghosts, in the in, in in the five goats uh, sector, so you you worry about bringing you know the bad things in, and then if you from the sun he, the okay. triple harmony sun he system point of view, you know uh, all facing that's a fire frame. So fire thing in the yin, the tiger, and the gung sector, that's a birth chi, you know, a growth or birth. Uh, 
is the birth qi or uh, in Chinese uh, chang sang or zhang sang. So this there's a lot to consider uh, as well. So in in my opinion is if you are able to learn you no know, few different feng shui system and then work blend it together then you you, you your chance of uh, effectiveness will be increased uh, before you know i learned many feng shui system before i learned the syyg san yuan yuan guo system there are lots of confusion there but after i learned the syyg and uh, i can see you know the interrelationship and how you can blend them together right so that is about the uh you know period nine in five star feng shui point of view i hope you you, you can get something out of it because i i really can't tell you the you know to the very detail level so if you think this information is uh, beneficial or, or even confuse you more, then uh, I think it's okay because that's a process you have to go through uh, unless you can straight away learn the SYYG system, then you will be better understand about, you know, how to incorporate all the feng shui system together. Uh, I uh, I will stop here. So, if you think this information even confuse you, you can <laughs> give me a like. Uh, you can comment. You can sh uh, share the video. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I see you on the uh, next video for the uh, more conclusion of the period nine. Bye bye.